couple of wins on a road trip. Five innings last night. Very good against the White Sox. Mike, I guess we can stop kicking dirt on you. Your career is still going strong. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> how are you today? You were you were kicking dirt on me, oh, too? Oh, I'm sure you all were, yes. You nah, know how talk radio goes. I, I think I think more the own, Yankee owner than us, to be honest with you. You know, we didn't compare you to any left-handed pitchers, I don't think. Well, that, I, I appreciate that. I tried left-handed. It just doesn't work. Yeah, it isn't. <laughs> and, you know, and last night, you know, uh, you know, that game came down to you, you know, you getting out of that jam with just two and then the kid giving up four. That was the game because after that it was uh, basically just a battle of the bullpens. You know? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, yesterday's game was, I mean, even the, I think it was the second inning or, or I think it was the second inning. I had second and third and one out and I uh, I got, the, I struck out the Lucci and then got a ground out to get out of that inning with no runs. Um, but the other, the, the kid was just throwing you know, cutting the ball and sinking the ball and changing speeds, and we couldn't get a good swing on them. And even when we scored, yeah, scored four runs without getting the ball out of the infield. Yeah, we, we had a couple swinging bunts and a uh, chopper over the third baseman's head, and uh, and then Bray, you hit one good one in the left field. Yep, that was it. And uh, besides that, we you know you just piece them together. But the game's the game's funny. You know, you can give up line drives all over the place and not give up anything, and and stuff like that happens, and you give up four. Yeah, you did a nice job though. You got Carroll basically. That was a very big at bat. I mean, uh, you got him, and then you did a nice job against. Hafner too to get that soft fly because those were the two critical at bats there. Yeah, well, the the Carroll bat was really big because they had a run in already. Yep. The bases were still loaded, yep. and there was nobody out. And he had really the first two at bats. He had really stretched me out. I think I threw probably 15, 17 pitches in his first two at bats against him. So I got him, uh, you know, in on his hand. He fisted one to first base for a soft out, and and then you know Hafner was just not. I don't think he's seen the ball that well, or he's just in a funk, or whatever it is, but. Um, you know, I just got him to hit an easy sack fly. And then Martinez hit a P, but he hit it at Derek, so that was it. You know, yeah. and that's, you know, you get you get those breaks sometimes, and that's, you know, it's, it's like I said, it's part of the game. That's how you win 250-some-odd games, that and a little talent. Now, how about the, um, uh, how about what the owner said? Now, listen, I mean, are you going to tell me he's got to be right, he's the owner, da 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 but you're prideful. Down deep, it had to bother you a little bit, right? You know, you know, actually, if, if, uh, I'm gonna. If he wants to say it, he can say it. I was at the time. I the, those two Boston games. I had not thrown the ball very well, and Manny had beat me up, and that was just. It was just that simple. You know, it was really just Manny, though. It was Manny. It really was. Yeah. I think he had three homers and an RBI double, and yeah, you know, and he. But he, you know, he made it look really bad, and and so, you know, that's okay, and it's it's. You know, he's allowed to say what he wants to say, and and so be it. But but, uh, you know, I knew that I was throwing the ball. Uh, I was throwing the ball decent, and uh, three innings uh, doesn't really make a doesn't make a season. So I just wanted to put it behind me and move on, and 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 throw the ball better. And and I think the two games on the road, I threw the ball much better. Is the fact that you are have you made sure that you are deaccelerating de the curveball to the point now that it creates enough distance velocity wise between the fastball and the breaking ball now? Well, I think I think the the slow curve has been effective. I think uh, I've been for the most part been able to dump it in for a strike one or or uh, even behind in the count down. Let's say one zero or something. I can dump it in there to get back even in the count. Um, the changeup has been has been really good the last two games. Uh, most of the strikeouts, well, not I can't say most of them, but a couple big strikeouts I've gotten on changeups, and I got some big outs on them uh, with the change. So. You know, I've, I think I've got a, a good range there. I know. I mean, I'm, I know I'm realistic. I'm not going to throw 92 ever again, and and so be it. But uh, I've got enough other things, and I can change speeds well enough. As long as I can be be on target with the baseball, I, I think I can still do this. Uh, now you are past the start by start scenario because you pitched well. But early in the year and in late part of spring training, Mike, did you kind of think that you need to get off to a good start? to give everybody confidence with Jabba sitting there and everything else, to give everybody confidence that you can still be a contributor with this rotation? Well, I was, I was pretty confident that I could still contribute because I physically I feel tremendously better than I felt last year. Um, and I know, you know everybody wants Jabba to start, and Jabba has the talent to start, and Jabba has the pitches to be a starter, and you know he's always been a starter and all that, and he's going to be a starter, I believe, sometime down the road. Uh, but uh, you know the trade-offs are to put him in the rotation and do something else with me or have him available to pitch. And in, in this case, he's pitched the last two nights, and it was a big factor in two wins in a row. Hey, I like this the way it is because, you know what, it's a seven-inning game. If you have the lead after seven, you're winning nine times out of ten, maybe even more. 
Yeah, and I think I think we're we've won every game this year that we've been up after yeah, seven have. innings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, he's it, the the choices are having pitched thirty three games a year, and affect thirty three games, or having pitch seventy times a year, uh, most likely all in big spots with the stuff he has. I mean, he makes people look really bad at the plate, and uh, you know, and it, you, you're right, it shortens the game up instead of trying to stretch it all the way to Mo now. You know, either the starter or the starter and one other guy basically are trying to get the job in the eighth inning. I noticed it last night with Ogwa Mike Messina. The Indians in the seventh inning last night, I could tell already that teams are pressing already in the seventh inning, realizing what's coming. I mean, they know you got Rivera in, and Jobber in front of them. They got to score in the seventh inning or they're in big trouble. They yeah, it, it, it really it changes, it changes how the game is played when you have, you know, you're trying to get the starter out of there. You're trying to wear the starter down, but at the same time, you know that. Well, if we don't get him out of there soon enough, you know those other two guys are going to come in rather rather quickly here. So, you know, it, it you know you, you're turning a you're turning a, a, a nine inning game into a much much shorter game. And 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 when when those two guys get in the ball game, when Mullen and Jabba are getting in ball games, you know, we we really really like our chances.